Hey, welcome to the Xbox Podcast. My name is Larry Herb, Xbox's Major Nelson. You are here for a first. Can we go to the wide shot? Here it is, all in studio for the first time ever. <laughs> this together. is this is actually you probably see us each week on the Xbox uh, official Xbox podcast. Normally we post on Friday, but Rebecca here, uh, who usually is in New York City, uh, had to come out here for business, and Jeff and I and Rebecca and the team here. So let's all get together. So this is actually the very first time we've seen each other. You're much taller than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know I look so short on camera. So, but... <laughs> uh, and I was hoping we could open the door to the studio so we can get some traffic noise coming in, like a little bit of New York. No, don't you miss that? Yeah. You know what I miss is you do not bring me a smoked meat sandwich of any sort, corned beef, pastrami. I would not yeah. have been picky. You know, I don't think that those travel very well. So the plane well, loves you know it. What? <laughs> the plane, yeah, the plane every, loves yeah, it. They, I'm, <laughs> I'm always next to that person who's got the tuna sandwich on the airplane. Extra onions. What do you do? Doing? Why are you bringing the food on the plane? You need to eat. You can't eat it 10 minutes before. Sorry. I, you're looking at me, but like I've flown home with a Philly cheesesteak in, is, in the car, is, in the plane before. This is this have. is the guy when we travel to, especially, I just remember Austin, Texas. Got to yes. get to the Schlotzky's Deli and he yep. gets it all and he brings it on board. And then 10 minutes later, he's. Look, the food at, at sea level is good. We all love food. We love, we love good food. You take that same food and you're at 35,000 feet and it is like 10X. It is like so much better. Like you just have, everything's pressed. Like when you're like on a plane, they hand you this tiny little thing of dry pretzels and yeah. you're like, oh my God, this is great. Uh, like it, and when you bring something good like that, it's, I, I regret nothing. I apologize for nothing. You know, you know when you when you have a carbonated beverage, it's it, it reacts completely different yeah. at 30,000 feet. I do feet. agree with you there. I normally don't drink soda, but there's nothing like a nice Sprite on the plane, though. So, so, you're, so are you, you're part of the Sprite family, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Just drinking, like, dark sodas, I always feel like that's not healthier. It's like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Sprite's got vitamin C. It's got lemon and lime. Yeah. avoiding scurvy. Lime. It's great. Now, now wait a minute. Are you, how, how are you on the McDonald's Sprite thing? Um, there's a whole there's a whole internet thing out there about how the apparently the inner the sprite at McDonald's restaurants is is like on a completely separate level. Huh. There's soda in general. So I worked at McDonald's uh, uh, in in high school and college. And let, let me tell you the hack. Can you? We, everyone talks about like in and out hacks. The hack that we used to do when I worked there is you would get a uh, either vanilla shake or just like the the cream like the the vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. And you do a spritz of the orange soda in there and it turns into like a creamsicle and it is the best. And like, I would sit there in the drive through and just like sucking down like oh, creamsicle really shakes. Good. And, you know, I'm sure it's, it's, I thought you were definitely going to say like, get a water cup and then put Sprite in it. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, if, if that's you're like a self-serve, <laughs> most of the McDonald's don't have self-serve. What is this show? What are we, what are we doing here? But I'm telling you, I missed evolved. you guys. If, yeah. if, if you say that you're going through the drive through, you're like, just, you know, just take that, take that, that Sunday without the hot, the hot right. fudge and just, just tap it underneath the, the high C orange. They'll know. They'll look at you like, you know. All right. Welcome. Uh, anyway, welcome back. Great to see everybody this week. We had a good show last week. We missed you last week because you were traveling. Mm -hmm. it was just, there wasn't yeah. that great of a Je show. Je yeah. Well, Jeff and I kind of like. Speaking up for it this week. It's okay. We were holding up uh, our end of the show, but we could. Good to see everybody. We're here together. As we said, we're going to talk about what we're playing. We've got a couple interviews uh, later on in the show. I mean, this is normally, this is the normal podcast. It's just live today on Tuesday. We're going to replay it. I'll put it in the podcast RSS feed later this week for everybody else who couldn't catch it live or you can replay it. Uh, but we've got, uh, actually, we have somebody coming up after us today, right? Yeah. So um, as part of uh, Xbox's celebration of Black History Month, we've been inviting uh, streamers from uh, the Black community, the Black and African American community, to come and take over the Xbox Twitch channel. That'll be happening today at noon. Here's this week. Look at this. Look at this yes. amazing uh, lineup of people. Yesterday we had Miss Ash Rocks uh, yeah. joining us, which was awesome. And then someone you may not associate with Xbox, but uh, a really an awesome journalist and uh, 30 Under 30, Forbes 30 Under 30, Blessing at AOEA Jr. from Kind of Funny, uh, is going to be joining us. He's going to be playing Very Rare cool. Replay. I listen to him every week on uh, the Kind of Funny Games cast. Yep. Uh, he's also a host of PS I Love You. Uh, and uh, just a, a, a great voice in gaming. And so we're really honored to be having him join us. And um, we're his lead-in. Yeah, so we're, it's we're, up to us to be interesting and to deliver him a great audience. So when Blessing takes over at noon. So he'll be here about an hour. 
Yes. A little less than an hour. Exactly. And then, then tomorrow, you, tomorrow, who do you have? Yeah, we've got uh, Janie Laney, Milady Confetti, and It's Me, Troy, this week. And uh, again, we're just very honored to be able to great lineup. turn yeah. over the channel what to them to play. Uh, Thank you. You Xbox put that together, games. right? Uh, it's a team effort. Yeah. And including, you know, folks here, uh, people behind the scenes like Lennox that uh, run the channels and Alex and everybody that's here. Um, uh, it's always more people putting something together than it looks like uh we just get to be very nice he doesn't want to take the credit but (laughs) can we uh can we talk about something for a minute jeff we're gonna talk about what we're playing we're gonna get to that in a minute Mm -hmm. one of the things that we've been playing i know you've been traveling so you haven't had a chance jeff and i've been playing a lot of halo Mm -hmm. Uh, i've been grinding away that and just just right before this show went live uh the xbox on team over in the uk called us out like hard uh sam bateman (laughs) called us out really hard sam we're coming after you (laughs) So out, it's a it's a clip that um, that you can see and what we can put a link off. If you go into my uh, into my uh, Twitter mentions, you'll see it in there. But it's Jeff and I apparently Jeff and I were um, in a I don't know how they found this clip. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Lennox has it. Yeah, I don't it looks, this looks like a trailer, but I guess they have a show on Xbox on. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. You can't zoom in on it, but I'm showing it here. But Jeff and I were in a. Uh, and we Jeff and I get completely destroyed. Yeah, someone double killed both of us and then sent the clip in to just basically shame us in right. the UK. Aww. And uh, shots fired. Yeah, so, Liter- literally. Sam, if you'd like to play Jeff and I, and we'll round up a little bit of UK versus US uh, Halo action, let me know, Xbox on. We're ready to go. Okay? Are you ready? I'm sorry, I just spoke for you. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. I guess. Now, here's the thing. They cannot bring Benny. So a uh, part of the Xbox on, uh, a frequent guest is named Benny, Benny Central. Yeah. He's like, he's a, a, a Twitch streamer who yep. uh, is known for being like a really great Call of Duty player, all kinds of shooters, and uh, I've seen him play Apex. I mean, he, anyway. can bring, he can bring Benny if he wants. We're just going to bring As long as he's on our team. Oh, he's gonna. we're going to bring some folks from our team because we got a couple of... We have some good players. Yeah. but then Some of which are in this room, <laughs> here's not the on the set. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're gonna like, if we're gonna elevate the stakes, right. then we're gonna be hiding in the corner and letting right. everyone bat, you know, battle it out, and we'll right. just like ping a few shots into the middle, chuck grenades. Let in. me know. You helped, yeah. Let me, I helped. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Jeff and I are playing some Halo. Uh, we're gonna we're continuing on that. We don't have our ten rye yet, but we're still working on that. What are you playing? Uh, well, I hate to jump ahead, but I tried out Ollie Ollie World. Oh yeah, we're gonna yeah. play that later. <laughs> Ollie Ollie World out now today, um, and we're gonna play that. It's a, great skateboard game so we're going to get into that a little bit later on in the show we'll play that all together later yeah on the show. my uh so i i got my dad an xbox when i first started working for That's xbox nice daughtering uh he has used it maybe twice uh, it's less good dadding yeah um How come uh he, is he mouse and keyboard or is he just not used to the controller or uh he's definitely not mouse and keyboard i think it's just easier for him wait to... a minute wait a minute because <laughs> he's taking care of pumba <laughs> no right? um no he he played forza a okay. couple times right. and he thought it was interesting but then he like couldn't get the audio to work and i wasn't around to fix it for him and so uh, ironically is because you're always having audio problems <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. i know um, but last night i was playing ollie ollie world and uh he kind of like poked his head in from the living room and he was like, oh, I want to hear what's going on in there. That sounds like a really fun game. Like, really? what are you doing over there? Yeah, because, I mean, just the, I really like the art style and right. the music, like the music and the sound effects. Like, it is a pretty fun game. Like, I I don't think I've played a skateboard game before, but I, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I found myself enjoying it, like, quite a bit, though. I mean, it's really just about, like, timing and everything. Right. It's very welcoming. It reminded me a lot, the gameplay of, like, Trials, Trials Fusion, Trials mm-hmm. HD, yeah. Uh, where you're generally moving from left to right and you're trying to figure out your way through and you you keep trying over and over until you get it. I would say in general, at least from the earlier stages that I played, um, perhaps not as punishing, but but if it gives you an idea for what the gameplay is, you can sometimes you have some very painful uh <laughs> Oh, I haven't done that part yet. But it's the music and the and the visuals are just incredibly welcoming, and yeah. and I and I very much appreciate. We actually that. have an interview with uh, one of the someone from the development team later on to uh, in the show. There's so. your dad. Very cool. Oh yeah, so that's, yeah. that's him. Yeah. We've had your mom in the comments, and <laughs> your dad's in all the only. Is your mom here? Um, I mean, she's. Is she watching? <laughs> I think so. I sent them the link. Okay. Uh, and she's working from home today, so okay. you know. Well, so hopefully, hopefully Rebecca's mom, which is a frequent listener to the podcast, we you know she may be joining us in the chats. Be nice in the chat, please. 
I'm looking at the chat. So far, so good. Also, it's really good to see Meg Cayley, who uh, is a creator I worked with and you might know from GameStop TV oh, yeah. and is now working with us and has been doing some some streams. And uh, Meg, you got to come up here to Seattle. Uh, it'd be great to see you in person because it's been a long time. It's been it's been a long time since I've seen, about the same time know, since I've seen you, <laughs> which is two years. By the way, doing a show in person, being able to like see body language and like you can tell like Larry's checked out. I can just keep talking for a while. Uh, whereas, <laughs> no, it's good. I feel like we're talking a lot faster, too. <laughs> yes. Well, this is what happens is normally Larry will say something and I'm like, oh, I have something I want to say here, but I don't want to talk over you. And there's a delay. Yeah. I count to three. I start to talk and we both talk at the same time and it's just really frustrating. And then, and then we both at the same time go, you go first. And it's just like, I think we've all, anyone who's done like any kind of remote work on zoom or teams or anything like that, it happens all the time. Exactly. At least we're (laughs) unmuted the whole time, Yeah. but it's just, it's good. You got to come back. You got to come back more often. All right. So we're continuing on what we're playing. Did you play anything else? I mean, you've been traveling, so you probably haven't had time. Mm, no, but I started watching uh, Vox Machina on, I think that's what it's called, on uh, Amazon Prime. It's mm-hmm. another kind of animated nerdy show. It's really good. I recommend checking it out. That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm playing a little bit of Dying Light 2. We had the interview last week. Jeff, I know you tried it out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, what else are you playing? Still very early. Uh, we got back into Overwatch this weekend. I saw you playing that with your daughter. Yeah. She just she just feel good to play as it, it always did? It does. Yeah. It holds it really well. And I found that we were getting, um, we played a ton in 2017. The lot. first two years. Like, yeah. like, like we played. And your daughter was. Almost really, every day. She was really good. She was, she, yeah, she participated in a, in a tournament. Oh yeah, I remember that. For like 20 yeah. years. And she, she did Super pretty well. Super proud dad moment. Yeah. That was, that was, that was good. Like what I cannot accomplish, you know, she will not get, Xbox on will never show a clip of her getting, getting demolished. Um, and uh, we, got back into it this weekend and they have this thing called the roll queue if you haven't played in a while if you played early on you would always have something where everyone wanted to be you'd have like a team of like five dps's saying i need healing and like one healer and no tanks so now every match is two dps two healer to tank or to support to tank and um you sort of go in and i always like to heal and um you sort of choose what you're going to want to do and then um I found I was just getting into match. We were getting into matches very quickly, and uh, we had some really good times. She got like a quintuple kill this weekend with Diva, like a Diva bomb, which is like her thing. Right. And just like got it, and it was like it all came back. It all came flooding back. And so, um, obviously, there's new maps, new characters that we were not sure how to handle. But um, you handled. It was fun getting back. We did all right. Did we did right. pretty well. We had a, a positive KDR and I'm positive fine. wins okay. and everything. <laughs> the other thing that I've been finding, my, I, have you all been watching the Olympics at all? Yeah. Can we talk about that for a minute because I'm not feeling the Olympics. And maybe it's just because I haven't had a lot of time to tune in. I wanted to, my daughter, who's younger than your daughter, uh, I wanted to have her watch it to see things like, you know, the the, the figure, figure skating, skating yeah. and the downhill and the slaw. I mean, these, yeah. are, these are athletes at peak performance. And I wanted to see some of them. Or the biathlon, which is one of my favorites. Biathlon? Cross-country skiing oh. and shooting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It yeah. looks really challenging. I, was I mean, you got to, like, have to shoot in between your heartbeats and stuff. It's yeah. hard. Anyway. Uh, but I, we just, it just never got into it. So what do you, what, what are is there a particular well, well, sport so you're watching? I, I'm going into it. Like, even when it was like, it's the first day, I'm like, really? I was like, I don't care. Cut to like two days later, I found like my combo for like a relaxing for like the last better part of a week at this point, which is playing Pokemon with the Switch on the sofa and like peak athletes doing that over there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just sitting there chucking Pokeballs and filling my... It's been just like very relaxing way to spend. So we'll play Halo, which we're like all revved up. But then you end up signing off at like nine or nine thirty, and then that's when all the events are live. So it being in China actually works out really well from our time zone perspective mm-hmm. because it's the next day there, and all the stuff is happening. We're what, ten hours ahead or whatever it is, and so watching it all happen live, and it's been just like really enjoyable. Uh, all the sort of just crazy big air, I think it's called, is just really oh, is fun. that it's like the longer course. So it's or, the one where they, they go down like a really big ramp on a, on oh, the skis. skis. Oh, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. And then they just do like one big trick and they go. Or they do the one where it's like the three big jumps on snowboards. Mm. Can, can I look I... at that. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing like literally 1900s. And I remember like back in the day, like the skateboarding game or the snowboarding game was called 1080. Right. And I was like, oh, that must be really good. Now they're doing like double that, which is... A lot of records. Okay. There's a lot of records being broken this <laughs> yes. year too, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of... I would not be able to do a zero. Like literally <laughs> just going straight down the hill and landing without dying would be impossible. That's a challenge. I was yeah. reading a story about how the the, the downhill, the, 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 the jumps, mm-hmm. the alpine jump, they, 
that one of the biggest challenges is they they because of the gray sky they lose track of what's up and down. Oh, they get like a little. Oh, they get yeah. disoriented, which Oof. that's supposed to be horrifying. Oof, you know, you're, I know. you're flying off a ramp at a hundred or two hundred miles an hour, and yeah, whoa. You <laughs> so. know, I actually so I I'm a snowboarder and skier, and so yeah. I've I've watched those events in the past, but I haven't been as interested in figure skating since like I was a kid, and there was like Michelle Kwan and stuff, you know. But I watched the my mom and I were watching the figure skating, especially the the pairs. And oh my gosh, I was, I, I felt like such an old lady because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like how is he lifting he threw her? her into the air. I know, he's lifting her with his one hand while also on one foot. Yeah. It was crazy. And then, you know, whenever they'd fall, I'd be lordy, like, lordy, lordy, clutching the pearls. But well, there was that one where, I don't know if you're watching it, but like when he was doing that and she like kind of kneed him in the face and, it felt, and, he, and he totally, it was I like a, it was a, it was a straight up wrestling move. Like he, he like, like Stone Cold stunnered her basically, or was, I don't know. It was something like Wait, that. And I was like, oh, my God. I think I did see that one. Yeah. And anyway, Pokemon Plus Olympics has been like, you yeah. know, we should do this every year. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's been a good time. Great entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> We've got, uh, oh, we're right on schedule here. I'm just Yeah, I'm looking at the chat. Oh, yeah, there was uh, there was the the Russian figure skater who did the first ever quad in the Olympics, yeah. which was really yeah, cool. Yeah, she was amazing. To see. So um, thanks for the comments in here. We're definitely looking. Yeah, we're, we're, we are reading the chat. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to open up Twitter. We're going to talk about some news a little bit because it's 11 15 we gotta we gotta try to keep things on schedule well, yeah right so you, you want to say <laughs> we could talk about olympics and food all about day, olympics but... <laughs> but you know we're... it's just great to be able to talk to you in like a non like delay organic matter there's probably a better way to say it. in an organic manner that just like sort of works yeah so i like it yeah. you can't go home <clears throat> so news then news yeah we jeff what do you got over there we go oh you're actually first up with Frost. Oh, right. Yeah, tell us about um, Frost. Yeah, so today, uh, Minecraft Dungeons actually announced that we passed 15 million players, which is Yay! Cool. Congrats. It's pretty cool. Uh, game Available on Game Pass. Yeah. Um, so, the yeah, the community's still been growing. Um, so, the team wanted to send out a nice thank you. And so, uh, we started the Festival of Frost, which is going on today until February 22nd. Um, anyone who logs into the game will get a free Isolager cape. Um, so, there's new, like, challenges. There's different, like, Frosty-themed, like, floors in the tower. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Recommend folks check it out. Uh, All right. Today is also, can I skip to this one? Yeah, do it. Uh, <laughs> today is also Safer Internet Day. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, which is just a day dedicated to, you know, teaching folks about online safety. Um, and so for that, Minecraft uh, Education Edition released uh, a world called Cybercraft Home Suite, hmm, uh, which is currently only available in the Education Edition, but it's going to be coming to the base, or sorry, the standard Minecraft game next month. Um, so anyone can try it out, and it just kind of teaches kids about things to look out for, um, how to, you know, kind of protect themselves online, like what kind of information can and can't be shared. Um, it's pretty cool. And I I think you actually spoke with someone about this content. Yeah, right? we'll have a we have an interview with two interviews later on. One here's here's some a little bit of the Minecraft. Uh, later on, we'll have um, uh, Dave McCarthy from the Xbox team talk about because his team really developed a lot of this, and his team runs the safety uh, the safety team here at Microsoft or excuse at Xbox. And then later on, we'll have someone from Ali Ali. But this looks really cool, and it's great. You know, I'll tell you what we need. You know, safe for Internet Day. I love that we're you know educating young adults and children how to be safe on the internet. I need something for my mom. <laughs> I know. Have her play this <laughs> content. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a combination of the two. She, is she investing in like NFTs? And she, no, she's, like, she's got to watch her crypto wallet. No, she, I just, I get the, you know, random, quite, you know, we all do. I mean, I love, we love our parents, but you know, mm -hmm. the, some of the, they're just not used to, they're, they don't live it like we do. Yeah. We're not online all the time. Yeah. So like, I, you know, I, I, it's been safer internet day, you know, every year for X amount of years. And it, it's always been something like, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And then we had an issue in my house about a week ago where my daughter clicked on a link in Discord and uh, it stole her credentials and it oh there, obviously she didn't have like a credit card attached to it right. or anything like that. So, so, but it ended up messaging, it was something to, like, to get like a free month of Nitro, right. like, but it wasn't actually it wasn't that. that. It was, you know, you, some, one, something we all know, like yeah. don't click on random links from strangers yep. uh, is something that kids don't come out of the womb knowing and so i think this is really good i'm going i told her i'm going to make her do it but it ended up sending that message to all of her classmates oh, and no. she was like like oh, she was like so the, embarrassed the blood yeah. she, was, she was horrified <laughs> oh. and and i was like you need to right now send a mail to you like your whole class. class well i i don't know that she necessarily realized like the i, I didn't go into her school right but i was like you need to 
I should have went into her school. Um, but I was like, you need to send a mail right now. Shame. And you need to say to your friends, like, do not click this. Because yes. it came from one of her friends. And it's just something that the point being, besides, you know, appropriately shaming the kids when they deserve it, is um, being able to teach them. And this is a good way to do it. Because, yeah. you know, you can say over and over, like, you know, don't click on this or don't. But it, these the, the, the stuff on the internet can be very compelling. And it can fool adults. It can fool your mom. It can yeah. fool your kid. It can fool you. Even my wife careful. once in a while says, what, is, she'll, she'll, is this real? Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> so we went through and we looked and I was yeah. like, okay, so if you look at where it would take you, look right. at the URL here. Right. It's taking you to some shady right. site. Right. It's right. obviously right. not the real, you know, Discord site and everything yeah. like that. So um, it's really important, I think. So me to, you, me to the parents. <laughs> When, uh, if your kids have access to Minecraft Education Edition, definitely recommend they do it. If not, when it comes to uh, the marketplace in, yeah. in the main game. Yeah. Uh, which is next, <laughs> next month. Next right? month. Yeah. And uh, take the time to do it because you don't want your kids to, you know, lose all your, lose all your cryptos or your whatever you got. I don't well, know. all those NFTs you bought. Those have coffee been- NFTs. It's, it's, you can practically taste it, Larry. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. What else we got? For, well, thank you for that. Thank yeah. you for that news. You got anything else? Or, Jeff, I think you've got some. Well, there was one last Minecraft story here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long week. Um, it's Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's Tuesday. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so uh, we have, thank you. <laughs> We have uh, Minecraft announced a partnership with Puma. Um, so we're releasing a limited edition collection. Um, it's a lot of cool, like, kind of athleisure, right streetwear. Here, so. Yeah, um, it's pretty neat. I'm, I've been pretty pleased. Like, I feel like when I first started working on the Minecraft team, it was just very much like the, you know, okay, here's a big creeper on your T-shirt yep. and it's only available in men's sizes. And as time's gone on, uh, we've made some really good partnerships. And this one with Puma is really cool. Um, so I recommend folks check it out. Um, yeah. And then there's I've also... Wore, I think I've worn Puma since high school. <laughs> really? Well, if you're a soccer fan, like my yeah. soccer team was sponsored mm. by them for a while. And yeah. so um, I would wear my, my kids' soccer team is, is as well. Oh, yeah. I, I had Puma cleats. That's right. I totally forgot. There you go. So. Um, there's also a skin pack and DLC available in the marketplace. Um, so there's an in-game component to the partnership, too, which is pretty cool. And if you're in the chat... Size 13. If you're in the chat, <laughs> you can just put a link yeah. down in the chat there linking off to the... Uh, the article that we showed there. So if you're mm-hmm. joining us in the Twitch chat, it's there. If not, you know, you may be listening to this on, on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, commenter Darkstalker said, I thought at first she said it was a partnership with Pumba, your dog. Oh, I know. That, oh. would, be, that would be even better. Wow. That would be better. <laughs> Let's make that happen. Yeah. Um, Email PumbaBiz at Gmail. Anyway. But yeah, I, I remember I, I read this. Um, I think it was like a brand study of just like athletic or like clothing and then like gaming and like where the intersection was and like like young people like they want to like um, what's the word like discreetly show their like gamer pride. So it's like they don't want to wear something which just says like you know big Minecraft on the chest, but yeah. something that still looks like a little bit stylish but has like nerdy flair. And so I feel like this. Like this collection well, that's, is kind you know, of like that's something that. I've always said. You know, a great line of clothing and, and wearables would be things that aren't splashed with logos. Yeah, not in more, your face. Yeah, more tack, more more relaxed and kind of you know whether it's here that you know wherever. Yeah, but, you know, I, it's that's the way I wear my. Give me my logos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a comment here. A question from I think it was it's scrolling, but Ninty Gold was asking about uh, our computers. Oh. Um, and so do you want to do a quick rundown? Do okay, so I'm running the Surface uh, Laptop 3, I want to say. Um, it's got the Alcantara keyboard. I would say it's the best keyboard I've ever typed on I on really a laptop. Like I'm going to have to send this clip to Panos. I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> I mean, this is my daily driver. It's super light. I bring it everywhere. It also comes in like a really cool uh, cobalt, I want to say, is the color. Yeah, I love how light that. that one is. Yeah. yeah. So big fan of that. We, yeah, yeah. I, I used to have that one. And then I got this one. Um, Surface Book. Very, for a very uh, shallow reason. But so the the screen on the Surface Book will detach from the keyboard, yep. which I've only done like three times since I've had the computer, but that's the whole reason I got it. <laughs> so once, this was very petty, but like um, I was on a, a plane and, and you know, I was, I was bored and I was waiting and I was working on something as I had some work mm-hmm. to do. And they were like, uh, sir, you need to put your laptop away. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> <laughs> I see where this is going. I hit the thing. I detached it. I'm like, oh, we're good. <laughs> 
Like, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's what the Surface guy. Book. And then over here, this is the Surface Studio, which does this little crazy. Ooh, wow. Show us. That it's kind of fun. So this is uh, we, we're all we're all we're all Surface family here. So that's it's got a little pen here that I can write with. So to answer the question. All right. Nice thing is we can all share chargers and yeah <laughs> things like that's that. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We forget chargers, sometimes not. All right, get, let's get back to business, shall we? Mm-hmm. Do you want to do news, interviews? What do you, uh, let's, what do, you well, do you have any little bit more, more news left? Because A couple gonna... little stories All here. Right, go ahead. That we can talk about. So um, something very exciting, you know, when we think about the games that are coming out uh, later this week, uh, Crossfire X. We're yep. going to pour one out for DMX. He has missed. Uh, uh, but Crossfire X, as we remember that, X Gone Give It To You trailer from... It was XO19, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, we get to play that this weekend. Of course, if you have Xbox Game Pass, uh, that means you'll get to play the uh, campaign. You get, you get, get one of the chapters of the campaign. campaign. Yep. Exactly. So that is uh, just a couple of days from now. Next week, uh, this is on the PC side, very much looking forward to Total War Warhammer 3. And uh, we were able to exclusively reveal the achievements. So games that are you know coming out on game pass even on pc yep. uh we work to get achievements into them and so uh very much looking forward to this one you can see uh this is made by uh sega and i want to say creative assembly um uh, who are known for their rts's for the strategy games and um this yeah, one say, has incredibly creative high production values creative assembly did they do halo wars too i believe they did yeah actually yeah, yeah very good so day. uh that's coming out day one on pc game pass next uh Next Thursday, on February seventeenth, whatever 17th. day that is. Yeah. Hey, so it's uh, it's, that. it's Valentine's Day next week for those of you that care about something like that. <laughs> Should we do something special? In that's why I'm wearing. That's why I'm wearing pink. Would you get my... me? Would you get me? Like? Yeah. <laughs> just, just bringing it up for people that you know have a maybe a significant other they want to get something nice for. It's not too late. We've had this conversation, which is just like, I feel like. Like, where is this going? <laughs> you, the conversation. Like, Valentine's Day, Valentine's there's almost Day. like an expectation of, like, that's the time when flowers are the most expensive and they have the least, like, cachet. Mm. Because it's like, oh, you got me flowers. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, you Whatever. checked a box. Big right, deal. You checked a box. Exactly. So I, I don't, that's how I justify not getting flowers on Valentine's Same Day. Same with me. Well, I have one thing that I can look forward to every year on Valentine's Day. Yes. Uh, my parents always get me a Valentine's Day card. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. It's the only child, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think I might. Way, I'll have they to choo, when, choo, choose you. I know when wow. I wow <laughs> deep cut here. When I play. when I get home, I have to see if I still have my one from last year. But it's it's very sweet. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> yep. uh, someone also called out Edge of Eternity is out yep. also on the tenth, which is uh, coming to. I'm gonna say it's coming to Xbox Game Pass. Uh, a, a RPG uh, sort of influenced or inspired by JRPGs. So I'm looking forward to that. Saw some uh, new video come out. I want to say earlier this week, and I'll definitely be checking that out over the weekend. So. Um, Oh, and someone said, my name is Jeff. Great. That's actually a meme, I want to say. Yes. Uh, last thing I want to talk about news-wise. So with Far Cry 6, the DLC that had been coming out have been patterned after some of the notable bad guys from previous Far Cry. Yeah, so Voss from Far Cry 3, yeah. Pagan Min, who was my favorite in Far Cry 4, and then Joseph Seed from Far Cry 5. His DLC is out now. Yep. Um, and it's You called- play as him. Yes, that's yeah. what's interesting. Yeah, uh, they flip so you, the tables. Yes, you uh, play as Joseph as he fights to escape the horrors of his own tortured mind set in a there's, twisted there, there version. There was Pagan. We just saw Pagan been Yes, there. yeah. Uh, in a twisted version of Hope County, Montana. Everyone's got their favorite. I feel like Voss, Voss might be sort of the more popular All choice. of them are our favorites because you and I did pretty much all of them in co-op and just wreaked havoc. And it was just <laughs> nonsense and silly and fun. It's exactly very, what video games should be. <laughs> very true. So that, that, my friend, is, is the news. All right, we got some interviews. Do you want to get us some interviews? Yeah. So first up, we have Dave McCarthy uh, continuing the conversation about Safer Internet Day. Yep. And then we have Simon Bennett to chat about Ollie Ollie World, which we will check out afterwards. When we come back from the interviews, we'll check that out. Yeah. So here we go. All right, Safer Internet Day is upon us. Joining us is Dave McCarthy from the Xbox team. Dave, it's great to see you. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. It's great to see you, my friend. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this blog post that you put up um, earlier this week, depending upon when you're listening to this, because we kind of went through some really cool stuff that uh, that Xbox is doing for Safer Internet Day. That's right. So in honor of Safer Internet Day, we have announced an experience that we're actually making available in Minecraft Education Edition. Mm-hmm. And it's built around this idea of providing kids, educators, parents, and caregivers, 
a game that they can actually play to learn about good habits around online safety and how to be good digital citizens. And it's part of a broader effort. We have an Xbox around our commitment, of course, to online safety and inclusive spaces in gaming. Right. And that, that's that's really important because Sa Safer Internet Day is not something you think of on one day or one month. Is that your team, which is has you have the safety team under yours, you think about it 24 hours a day, every day, every year for many, many years now, right? We sure do. I mean, it is, it's not a job that's ever done. Uh, but quite honestly, if we can't make our online gaming spaces welcome and inclusive for everyone, you know, we can't uh, sort of reach that dream of, of reaching every gamer in the planet and bringing the joy and community of gaming to them. So it's an ongoing process for, um, for improvement. You know, this Minecraft uh, Education Edition experience is, is one step along the way. There's a lot of others we can share, but we're really, really excited to bring something that's, you know, very approachable, very actionable, and quite frankly, fun uh, for kids and caregivers and parents to try out. Now, tell us about because it's got a very interesting name. You, you kind of, it's, it's fascinating, and people have seen in the blog post. Tell us about that. It's a little play on words. So it's called uh, Cyber Safe Home Sweet Hmm, is yeah. the name. Yes. And uh, it's a little play on words in reference to a couple things. One is, uh, for those of you who play Minecraft, it's actually the sound that the villagers in Minecraft make. They, uh, they have that, that little hum that goes on in the background. Right. Uh, but it also sort of refers to this notion of sort of think before you click when it comes to online safety, being on the internet, having connected gaming. And it walks you actually through a series of experiences that teach you exactly that. The things you need to watch out for with sharing password credentials, accepting friend invites, giving your personal information out on the internet, and uh, and and we're glad we can kind of bring those concepts together in Minecraft Education Edition. And I want to point out that with the Education Edition, which is a huge part of a lot of people's you know that are in school their lives, that all of those things you just talked about, these are programs and programming and events that are directly related to situations and learnings that you have had, your team has had in the security and safety space, right? That's absolutely true. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm both a parent of gamers. Uh, and so I've seen a lot of these scenarios play out firsthand in my own house. Uh, but also, you know, I see sort of, uh, you know, daily reach outs from our customers, daily reach outs from our players on things that they're encountering and these are common scenarios. You know, it is a real thing to be able to sort of evaluate who's trying to connect with you, the sources you're getting stuff from. And it's great to use a experience like Minecraft that's really familiar to our players uh, to sort of reinforce some of these concepts, gives them an idea on uh, how to use a trusted adult in certain scenarios. That's really important. There's a trusted adult who's a NPC uh, character in this experience and also where to look for additional resources um, because it is sort of this never ending uh, uh, quest to educate ourselves on what um, being safe online looks like. Yeah, and of course, the, some of the best parents and caregivers are not NPCs at all, right? They are quite, <laughs> quite active, and that's we're here to kind of help everybody. How, how do people find, or, you know, how do parents and caregivers, how do they find this experience so they can bring it to their children? Yeah, so it'll be available, or it is available for free in the Minecraft Education Edition, and it actually is coming soon uh, to everyone through the uh, broader Minecraft marketplace. So they'll see it as a adventure there that they can uh, download or stream and get right into and, and get into the principles of online safety. I love how your team has decided to use this universal, globally accepted playground of Minecraft as the delivery <laughs> mechanism. That's so that's so great because it's so familiar to millions of children and, and, and caregivers worldwide, isn't it? Well, in order to be, you know, approachable and fun, I think you do need to offer familiar tools. It's kind of been a theme for us overall in Xbox safety is, is how do we sort of meet people where they are? Our Xbox Family Settings app is another great example of that, right? Uh, you can download that on Android and iOS uh, in all markets where uh, where Xboxes are sold. And that's just a convenient way for parents and caregivers actually to manage the experience uh, of their kids and teens 
um, not needing to, you know, uh, go any deeper than a, a handy app that can provide notifications in the moment as it does for me uh, with my kids in terms of managing things like screen time, access to content, purchase approval, stuff like that. So there's this greater philosophy we have of giving people choice, giving people access. And I think this um, home sweet hmm idea was just another example of uh, meeting players where they are and putting stuff in an environment that's really familiar to them. Yeah, and in fact, you talked about the the, the app. We can tune in. We we had you on last year to talk about the app and some of the same right. features. And we had some of the program right. managers on as well. So it's always great to have you back here. People just need to go to news.xbox.com. You have a great blog post up there that kind of outlines a little bit more detail about some of these adventures. Let's call them adventures. What they can do. Yeah. Um, you know what they can do together with their with their parents or caregivers to understand how to stay safe online because this is uh, this is an important and important conversation to have both with parents and caregivers as well as the little ones as you know I you, you mentioned I that my daughter is only four years old so she's not online quite yet um, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to kind of exploring these with her it's great to have you on Dave and, and do you have anything else you want to tell us before we let you go I know you're busy no, I mean, just, you know, for everybody that is a part of the Xbox community, know that this is an area that we are always pushing on. We've uh, um, brought new teams into the organization. We've invested in new features um, uh, that you can use on Xbox to help keep you safe. The one thing I would say to kids, um, parents and caregivers watching this is, please, please, please create a child account uh, for yourselves. Uh, it really is uh, something that opens up a world of uh, functionality for you, um, protections, features that are really geared around keeping you safe and quite frankly, keeping you connected um, to your child's play experience. Uh, so I'm, al I'm always promoting that whenever I get a chance and this is no exception to that. Well, I appreciate that, Dave. And I'll make sure I put a link in the in the show notes about how people can go do that. Or you can reach out to me uh, on Twitter at Major Nelson. I'm happy to point you in the right direction because I know there's a lot of information out there. And there was a, a time a few years ago where it frankly was really confusing to set up. And your team has a great job of making that easier helping people understand it. And I, I got to tell you, there was a time, as I said, you know, 10 or 12 years ago where I had no idea how to do it. Like you could you could just say, hey, how do you do this? I couldn't answer your question, but now it's so much easier. So Dave, thank you for that. You and your team doing all the great work there. I appreciate it. You know, the the reality today, man, it's you kids, they, they connect, they play, they learn on the internet. That's where everything happens. So we've got to constantly improve there. And I hope people really enjoy this experience in Minecraft. It's uh it's a pretty fun one. So try it out. Yep, Safer Internet Day. I'll put a link to the to the blog post that you put up earlier that kind of goes through everything. Dave, have a great time. I'll have you on again uh, in the future to talk about some more cool stuff, right? Happy to be here, my friend. Always good to see you. As we said earlier in the show, Ali Ali World is now available on Xbox and a bunch of other consoles. Joining us now is Simon Bennett from uh, Roll7, uh, from who developed Ali Ali. Simon, thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you. Good to be here, man. Good to be here. Tell us, tell us a little bit about Ali Ali World. I mean, we remember the original Ali Ali, which was what, like six or seven years ago, and now Ali Ali has its own world. So tell us about that because it's really exciting. Yeah, well, um, as you know, we we developed Oli uh, Oli Oli One and Two, uh, 2014 and 2015. Uh, we took a bit of a break, made Laser League. Um, and decided that we were really ready to come back to this game with all of the ambition, um, all of the things that were on the cutting room floor that we never really got to do. And then, yeah, a ton of exciting new things that we never really thought would be possible uh, that, that the team have uh, slaved over for the past yeah couple of years. So it's been it's been an amazing, uh, amazing, um, I guess, sort of trip back into the Oli Oli um franchise but yeah something very different something very exciting and yeah we're, we're really really proud of it as a studio so we're seeing a little bit of the gameplay here and for those of you ali ali comes from a term that's used in skateboarding it's a skateboarding game right so it's pretty straightforward <laughs> but but ali ali brings a different twist on it than some other skateboarding games tell us tell us about what you guys have done to kind of give it your own feel yeah absolutely so so really ali ali world is an action platformer um, so you are skating predominantly uh, left to right uh, on various different planes. Um, the excitement of Oli Oli World is that we've really mixed things up. So there's 
uh, like multiple path split routes. We've got quarter pipes, as you can see there. You can ride sort of backwards and forwards. Uh, there's hidden hidden routes um, and all manner of moving things as well. So it's it's really sort of stepped it up from the previous the previous two games. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because it's, yeah. it's exactly that. I love the left and the right. And, and I want to talk a little bit about the art style because the art style, so beautiful. How would you describe that art style? Uh, candy coated. <laughs> that's my, <laughs> that's mine. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a whole kind of new visual identity that the studio has been exploring. We've been working on our own, uh, sort of custom render tech to be able to sort of deliver this sort of flat look, um, sort of, and yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a very candy coat. It's super sort of unique uh, visual look that we've we've managed to come up with. Uh, super proud of it. And we can see here some of the customizations because, of course, skateboarding is not any fun unless you can customize it. And you, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on here, right? It's yeah, like the customization. Uh, the, the guys that were working on that kind of just went full on out there and and really it is all, all things skateboarding and beyond uh, there are some really wacky things um in there and yeah as, as you progress throughout the game you're going to be unlocking tons of new brands we we built out all of our own sort of bespoke unique skate brands uh, that sit within the ollie ollie world and uh yeah it's there's a lot in that customization to uh, to get lost in we often find that people spend about three hours before they even kick off the game playing around so we talked about some of the previous games um you know, the previous Ali Ali games. Tell us about what being on the next gen platforms have really unlocked for you. Cause you're, you're on a bunch of different platforms with the release of Ali Ali world. Um, tell us about what some of this has unlocked for you. Yeah, I think, um, it's given us the opportunity really to sort of push visually what we what we've kind of not really been able to achieve in the past. I think having all of that extra headroom has been really helpful. Um, obviously, visually, we are we're not like um, PBR rendered or anything like that. We are doing a very sort of a, a very sort of unique look. But yeah, you do need that extra headroom to be able to achieve uh, what we're doing. So I'd say that um, I think that you know the new controllers. Um, are obviously uh, sort of a, a, an awesome addition to um, to how how we're able to, I guess, sort of maximise uh, the feel of the game, um, all the new rumble and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think like it's it's it's, but it's predominantly the the extra headroom that's helped us sort of push uh, what we can do visually. And I also noticed it's it's worth noting on Xbox Series X and S, you're gonna have 120 frames a second. Which is kind of yeah, kinda we put crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and do you know what? Like seeing that on a big screen, it it really does. It really does. Like it, it does punch. Uh, like really punches at you. Um, right. And yeah, although it is, although we're doing what we're doing visually. Like once you actually get that 120, oh wow, it's it's a yeah. beautiful thing. So yeah. <laughs> it really it really just adds to the smoothness. Now, of course, the other part of Ali Ali is the soundtrack. Music is such a big part of skate culture, and you guys really bring that into the game in spades, don't you? Yeah, we've worked with some fantastic um, artists, labels. Uh, I'd like to a big shout out to the Cascade guys in, in France uh, and all the artists. We've got about 32 different tracks uh, within the game, uh, and you're actually going to be unlocking music as you progress throughout the uh, the, uh, the game itself. So you're actually sort of building on the uh, the soundtrack as you go. So really, really excited for people to to discover all the amazing music in the game. Now I was reading that with the combo system, there's there's over a hundred moves. That just seems extraordinary for something to be able to to tie to you know this, right? So that's got to be a little bit of a challenge from a design perspective. Yeah, I think like we've we've really opted. Uh, predominantly uh, for the, the, the kind of core trick system for almost like a, a street fighter-y style um, uh, flick system. Um, so you're kind of doing quarter turns, half loops, and, and sort of full loops to, to, to do different tricks. Um, but yeah, we're, we've also added grabs, uh, late grabs. You've got grinds, wall rides, uh, grind switching, uh, manuals. There's just so many different types uh, of tricks that you can kind of pull into a combo. So there's there's a lot more for players who really want to push their mastery. 
when when you're designing, you know, when, with, when you were designing this, you know, ten years ago for the original, what what how have you evolved it for the different games? You talked about how this is kind of all the things you this particular Ali Ali world is a lot of things you left on the on the whiteboard, but it's been it's been an evolution for the past decade, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like I, I think you know, as skateboarders ourselves, when we set out. There was there was a ton of stuff we wanted to do, but we were a small independent studio at the time. Uh, you know, three or four people originally working on Oli Oli One, uh, and and now with the sort of bigger team, um, bigger ambition. I think you know there was just there was always a lot of things we wanted to do, and I think really Oli Oli World is for us kind of the complete Oli Oli experience. It's I think everything that we ever wanted to do with the game, um, and yeah, really excited for people to actually I guess experience that. Right. Well, it's again, it's a out right now on Xbox Series X and S. You're also on uh, what? Are, uh, feel free. I know this is an Xbox podcast, but feel free to mention <laughs> the other platforms as well, because I know you probably want to make sure that people can play it anywhere they want to. Yeah, you can actually. You can, you can play this all over the shop. It's it's fantastic on Xbox, but you can also play it on uh, PS4, PS5, on Switch, and uh, and on PC. All right. Thank you to Dave and of course Simon there. Simon didn't have any lights on so I was, that was the it's the most colorful game i've played <laughs> in years and he's like inside a broom closet well what's funny is when we set up the interview we you know before we i started recording i said hey how you doing you know i introduced myself he says yeah good thing this isn't video i said uh well it kind of is <laughs> okay that makes sense now <laughs> yeah so anyway we just went with it but anyway great to great to hear from him about ollie, ollie. in fact we're gonna play Ali Ali World sure. right now, right? So one of the things that you all were talking about is sort of the amazing character creator. And um, why don't we go to that? Because I've got that right yeah, here. Yeah, we, we, if we can bring that up on screen here, see a little bit of Ali Ali World over on the right. And I don't know if we're there. There we go <laughs> with the animation. And I was like, you know what? Rebecca, let's make Larry. Yeah. Because he's going to do <laughs> yeah. this. Wait, 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 think wait, 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 gray? wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 you're you're a taller guy. Um, I don't know if this is height or if this is plumpness. It's a little, we'll we'll dial it. What are you doing? Maybe a little middle, middle, middle of the road. <laughs> you can at least have like green hair or blue hair or red. I'm just trying to he make change his skin color. Make him. I I really like to like orange skin. Okay, like Larry coming yeah. back from uh yeah. from the you know why <laughs> vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh, let's see. Well, uh, first of all, let's see. No, we are not ready to roll. Um. You know what's going to work? Let me get, let's get the glasses on. Then, then we'll oh, yeah, really... Yeah, glasses make it. Can't believe that. There we go. There we now go. it's Larry. There we go. We're getting yeah, there. I see it. <laughs> I always... You know, I'd been trying to talk Larry for a long time into a beard. And uh, what do we think? That's a little Santa. Hey, see, a little that's, Santa. That's, that's, a little... that's a lot, Santa. What about... I, could, I, could I think it was nice general nice score. Yeah. I think it worked. Well, it's not like it's not like that, you know. The can I can I have at least can you give me dark hair like you know when I was skateboarding in the eighties and nineties? <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll we'll, we'll 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 let's see if we can like get you a little salt and pepper here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Pink. Ooh, pink. Huh? I like pink. That's yeah. all right. We'll keep the pink. Yeah. What do you? What would Larry wear here? Why don't you take it over from here? Mm. Let's see if we can find like sweater, sports bra. Uh, a lot of the soccer players, you know, wear those. Oh, that's like a nice sweater. I would wear that. I think you would wear that, Larry. Yeah, I think I have one just I like that, Bjorn. All right, yeah. let's do that. Shorts or pants? I've never seen Larry's legs. No, that's, that's not, not true. true. That's not true. <laughs> I can't believe Larry. the time I've seen your legs. <laughs> Larry, yes, in the summer, you're always. Uh, that's actually what my character's wearing, the joggers <laughs> in my in my character creator. Uh, skinny did you skinny wear jeans? skinny jeans when you Those were? Those are actually more Larry? like leggings. Or, I, or I didn't jeggings. really wear skinny anything. Well you you have that photo from when you were you had like a hot dog stand right. in Connecticut oh, right. in the day. Right. And you're wearing like the shortest eighty shorts. That I kinda, kinda like this. I mean, what yeah. Hey, man. Like? Yeah. Let's go with that. You like those? Or do you want to go to the jeans? You're wearing jeans. We can make them now. Oh, you give, me a, give me a give me a little bit of flair. Yeah, go over, go over <laughs> to over to the jeans. There we go. There we go. The shoes. Bad. Yeah, actually, the shoes are close. So they have just like a straight up. Pink can I have some action. culottes? Cool. I don't know what that is. Oh, those are like the short, <laughs> shorter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Went with the uh, the crop, the crop. I mean, give me my short little. Oh, actually, you got it. This is really. You got it. This is what he's wearing. Well, all right. So oh, I, I don't get my little short Larry Bird '80s. Oh, red shorts. shoes! Red Great shoes! Red I got red shoes. shoes on. So 
we just yeah. we have a Larry with a slightly modified hair, but I would say probably an improvement. Uh, oh, do safety you, first. Safety. Oh, yeah. I think it's oh, underneath. It's hidden. Yeah, he's wearing. It's hidden. But it's there. It's there. Okay. He's got his. It, he's got an end. I have my going. pink shirt. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Jesus. Yeah, we're making. We're, we're making. making I get it. All right, hit hit B, and then we should be able to start. Uh, oh yeah, is that the right? Thing? I think we got. I it. look like. I look like. I look like Monopoly money bags there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with a mustache. We're, let's uh, skate down uh, Atlantic Avenue then. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Baltic. Right. Yeah, Baltic. <laughs> All right, Hello uh, there. I think it'll, yeah, let's see if we can skip. I think at one point it's just, just leave me alone and let me skate. There we go. Yeah, B. And then we can play. Perfect. Let's do it. So, right. yeah, let's talk about the game. Oh, Wait. so you already know the advanced move. So if you tap A, uh, that gives you speed. If you hold A, then you get like sort of a... a um... Nice heel flip. Yeah. And then if you do sort of like a dragon punch or like a Hadouken, that's when you start doing the spins. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. So I did last night, I did the first island. Oh, and, and an achievement. achievement unlocked. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, it gives up It gives up like three achievements in the first 10 minutes. Uh, someone says uh, we need to have Larry dress exactly like this. With, yeah. with the big bushy. The next live with the mustache next time. I've been trying for a long time to get Larry to grow out his beard or mustache, especially during the pandemic, like at the height of it. Oh. Obviously, we're still in it. But like, but you have every excuse to just, just you know what, let's, let's go... Uh, to you be know, fair, I, I do let it go long. You've seen me on the weekends when it's longer. I just, <laughs> I just don't. It just doesn't look good. It just doesn't. The map good. is pretty cool. I haven't gotten out of, because I just started, so yeah. I, I haven't gotten out of Sunshine Valley yet. I don't know about you guys. I I, I, I finished it um, and, and sort of met the person at the end and made okay. it to, like, Oregon on the You're north. Just tuning there. in, this is the official Xbox podcast. We are playing Ali Ali World, which is available today. Is it Ali Ali or Oli Oli? Yeah. Maybe that he was the like British he was saying, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, It's Ali Oli. Spelled O U L L. Yes. Um, <laughs> the extra U. We're gonna, and we got a stream coming up in just about 10 minutes. Who's going to join us? And who's, who are we handing off to, Jeff? Yeah, we're going to be, uh, we're, we're hoping to retain our audience here uh, so that when uh, Blessing Adi Oye. We're going to deliver him the audience. Yes. Uh, who I think Greg Miller refers to as the, the new face or the new voice of gaming when he introduced it. Very elaborate intros. Okay. Greg Miller being a big wrestling fan. Um, they don't have the entrance music. But anyway, uh, Blessing Eddie O.E. Jr. is going to be joining us playing cool. Rare Replay and taking over for about 90 minutes. That'll be fun. Lots of different games to choose from. You, Rare Replay, what was your favorite classic sort of rare game in that? It, oh. It's been a few years. It's been a while. I, I don't remember. <laughs> you get everything from like... What we what do we have in the, there? The perfect dark. Perfect dark. Yeah. yeah. yeah Jet Force Gemini. Yep. Um, uh, Viva. Viva Miata. They had, they had, uh, I think they had RC Pro Am. Yeah, I there. think you're right. That was like that was the first oh. rare game I ever played back in the day. Uh, there's another, another achievement. One. Yes. Look at this. This is not my account. This is uh this is the studio's account. Yes. So I've already gotten these. So tell us how you do the drops. What? Sorry, uh, I was focusing. You're <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the jump. So it's actually interesting. The um, wow, I don't know if I can play oh. and do. You want, I can't play and talk at the same time. So um, yeah, go on. So and last night I actually, it it took me a minute to like get into a good rhythm because so you for the for the jumps and the trick or for the tricks and the jumps you use the left stick and so you kind of go down and then flick it in a certain direction and then that's how you do a trick, and then A is to kick and to get more speed. But normally A is like jump in most games. Yes. So uh, that kind of took me for a little bit of a spin, pun not intended. Um, Did you unlock anything new that I can put on? Yeah. My so every almost every, as, as many choices as there are in the character creator, almost every level, and depending on how many sort of the optional things you do, you unlock more and more and more stuff. So when I was done the island, yep. I went back and I redid my character again and made them dramatically different because mm -hmm. it was just so many more options. Yeah. I I really like. I really liked the way that the game played. Um, and I like that, you know, you see these challenges, but you don't have to do the challenges, like all of them, in order to progress to the next level. Um, this is the skateboard version of Trials. I can yeah. yeah, I told you, <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, it's just, it just feels so, and it's just, it's just so much zanier. Come on, yeah. Come on. Nice. Um, so, I also didn't yeah. realize uh, that if you just pushed Y, you would get to start over from a checkpoint. And so the first, like, you know, 15 minutes I was playing, I was holding Y to restart the level. Restart the level, which you don't you want can, to do. 
you can't like you can do that if you want to get all the challenges um but if you just you know at a certain point i was like i just need to get this effing thing over with like <laughs> just like you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah i actually when i first started playing uh because i was at my parents house um I shouted a particular four-letter word, and I was like, oh, man, I really yes, hope they didn't boy, hear that. Yes, Floyd Hill cannot hear <laughs> this, this is type of language. Ollie Ollie world. We're playing a little bit here, unlocking. Uh, oh, my. He Look said that Ollie Ollie. Yeah, he's <laughs> covering both. all of his bases. He I like that. Uh, you're a diplomat. Um, yeah, the thing that is... Uh, I don't know what I was gonna say, but so so you hold the stick back, and if you go left or and then when you let go, you jump. Mm -hmm. Then you start to learn when you get later into the game. Here's the different challenges. So obviously, all you gotta do is beat the level. Yeah, make it to the end. But here's all the bonus. But things. you can do bonus things that get, will unlock you more and more things. So finish uh, without slamming. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Like, but if you if you spin, see how I did like uh, a bit of a tr oof. I, oh. I think I slant. Oh, what are you oh, doing oh, to me? Oh, oh, ragdoll physics. That's like in the Olympics, the uh, the the skateboard off of the house or snowboard yeah, off the house. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was really cool. The shred, the shred shed. Is that what they call it? I think you do. That's if not, they can have. Here that we go. One. Now this, if you're just tuning in, we're playing Oli Oli World, and this is. Uh, Jeff has and Rebecca have created me as a character. I don't know as if I agree with it, but here we are. So and, that's the checkpoint right there. And we're just showing you a little bit. We're going to be wrapping up in just about five minutes. We're going to hand it off. The Blessing is going to do rare replay. So we're going to we're getting ready for that. If you're tuning in oh, for him, good. it'll be your long in just a moment. It. You'll have to suffer through about five minutes of us. So sorry. Oh, but I want nice. to thank everybody in the chat. You guys have been. Oh, no. Wow. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Keep recovery. going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Look at Jeff playing Oli Oli World. Here we go. Oh, we're yeah. almost done. Killing it. Oh, this part. This part really got me. And again. Look at this. And again. And again. And again. Oh, ah. I think that's the last one. <laughs> I know it oh, was. No. You take it over. I, I find that in this game, it, much like trials, like we were saying, sometimes you go through things and you you trip on the same thing right. ten times in a row, and then you go into like some sort of like zone out state yeah. where all of a sudden like you're untouchable. And yeah. and I think. I, I mean this in like the most complimentary way possible. Sometimes it's fun just to <laughs> shut your brain off and just sort of like flow with it. Oh, no, and, yeah. that, and I found myself getting kinda into like that state. Kind of like doing Pokemon while you're watching the Olympics. There's a little more strategy there. Like when do I stop and craft some more like, you know, uh, potions and, and revives and stuff. Nice. So you're in it. You're in the zone. You're in oh, the zone. I, I know. So if you <laughs> have, by the way, if you have an Xbox Series uh, XRS and you have a, uh, a TV or monitor that could do 120 frames per second, this game's done. Did you try that last night? Yes. Oh. It is butter. It is smooth. You got this. You got it, Rebecca. One more. Yes. There she goes. Yay. Nicely done. So you can just tap, like sort of uh, put the stick over left or right. And then when you let go, you jump. And, and in each cardinal direction, it will do a different type of like grab. Yeah. But if you like do down and then swing it up to the left or to the right, like again, like sort of like Street Fighter swipe moves, that's when you start doing crazy stuff. So if you hold it down and you start to spin it around and then you let go, you will do like those 720s and all the other, you don't have to do that. Right. You just have to make it through. But as soon as you learn that move, like of course you want to try it. So you did manage to avoid all the bananas. So you got, see that shirt that's uh, uh, a banana it's, shirt. It's uh, it may have a speaker in it. Cause it's Finish without out, slamming. When you figure out that means. Yeah. Finish. Maybe that means like not falling. Cause we, we obviously did. Um, <laughs> Very, very much. I like this too. Oh yeah, was, go yeah. go go! I was gonna say it shows you your um, your Xbox Live friends characters um, as they've designed them in the character creator. Yep. So like last night when I played, I saw Larry's randomly generated character, which this is not my character. Yeah, which this I could tell. Now. I could tell it was randomly generated, and then I also saw Jeff's, and it kind of has like a little screenshot of them doing a trick. So yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll see mine now. Okay, I will be looking for it. Are yeah, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up. Oh my God! Well, we've got three minutes. Yeah, that time. We don't want to have dead air. Wrap up cue from the corner. Oh, yeah. never mind. We listen to the director. Yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. Please give your support and your love to Blessing Addy O.E. Jr. We're very, very pleased to have him joining us here yep. on the uh, Xbox Twitch channel, yep. uh, playing Rare Replay. So we're going to wrap it up in just a second. Uh, you can follow us on social. I think uh, we've got. Do you have that three shot you can bring up, Lennox? So we'll. we'll uh, 
Well, I know the one with all our socials on it. I guess it was all individual. So that's fine. <laughs> we I, were there catching them off. They know how to follow that's us. Fine. That's fine. There it is. There we hey. go. Hey. So anyway, <laughs> uh, on behalf of uh, Jeff and Rebecca, thank Jeff, first of all, Rebecca, great to see you. The first time we've had her in studio. How do you guys think it worked out? I think it worked out great. Jeff agrees. Yep. We'll have you back. <laughs> I come back. The best part is now we're going to go get lunch. Yeah, we're going to so. go have lunch now, so it's which is going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, thank you for joining us. If you uh, if you enjoy this, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Right, Jeff? Is not what I'm supposed to say? That's what you're supposed to say. Slam like, the button. Hey, Ring swear. the bell. Ring, Ring the, the bell. bell. Ding all that other stuff. <laughs> but we'll be back next week. We've got another great show for you. But get ready right now. Blessing and Rare Replay are coming up in just a few minutes, so don't go away. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.